Hello YouTube, this is PSP Max, and today I'm going to show you how you could do a clean install on Windows 10. Uh, for example, right now this laptop has a brand new hard drive. It doesn't matter whether, I ha whether it has Windows XP, Windows 7, or if it's a new hard drive, it's still going to be the same steps. The only, re the only uh, note that I have for you guys, the people that have uh, an operating system already inside the hard drive, I highly, highly recommend that you back up your files, such as what well, videos, documents, uh, music, whatever you have that you want to back up. Because uh, the point of a clean install is to, like it says, clean install. So it wipes everything from the entire hard drive. So it it basically formats the hard drive, and there's nothing in it, which is practically a brand new hard drive. You're just installing a uh, a new operating system, which uh which is very useful in some cases like if it has viruses or some little bugs once wiping out the hard drive you and you install a brand new system is gonna be like a brand new laptop there's not gonna be no lag well it depends on the RAM you have but most cases like your computer is gonna feel brand new it's gonna run very very smooth very very fast and all that stuff so yeah I'm gonna show you how to do it with Windows 10 I'm probably gonna upload a video later on on how to do it with Windows 7 but since Windows 10 is the main operating system out there that Microsoft is releasing all laptops I'm gonna be doing it on Windows 10 so you can either have Windows 10 on the CD or a USB mine is currently on a USB so yeah so I don't need this I'm just using the CD for a demonstration so yeah so I'm gonna turn on my computer and after you back up everything uh, I'm gonna go into the boot menu. So in order to go to my boot menu, I need to press F12. If you're using a, a laptop, please make sure that you have your um, your charger connected to your laptop because uh, you don't want the laptop running out of battery during the middle of the installation of Windows 10 because it could corrupt the system and get to restart this video all over again. If you're using a desktop, you don't need to worry about this. But yeah, so uh, let me put the brightness a little bit higher for you guys. Let me see if it's in a good angle for you. There we go. All right. So everyone's boot manager, everyone's laptop, everyone's desktop is different. There's different ways to go into the boot menu. There's F12, escape, or delete. Usually, uh, when you usually power on a computer, it's going to show the logo of your brand. And then it's going to say in, in, little, in little words right here whether to press escape to go to BIOS, F12 to go into boot manager or something. You could just find it on your own. It's not really that hard. And if you're having trouble, you could just go to Google and type in the brand of your laptop and uh, the model of your laptop and then just uh, type how to boot. It's not that hard, guys. But anyways, it's usually F12, the boot uh, key to choose the boot options. But anyways, since I'm going to be in, uh, installing Windows 10 from a USB, I'm going to select... Uh, where is it? Oops. Ooh, that thing I screwed up, guys. So since I'm installing it from a USB, I need to reinstall... Um, I need to restart my computer for it to show my USB right here. So I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, I'm going to hold it. So yeah, if you're going to install your uh, operating system from a USB, make sure your USB is connected before uh, booting up into the boot menu. So I just booted up into the boot menu. And now there we go, guys. See? USB HDD generic flash disk. That's my USB right there, so I'm going to be hitting that in order to uh, boot up my operating system. If you guys are using a CD, which I'm going to be using in my next video on the Windows 7 fresh install, you're going to choose, you're just going to look for your DVD drive. So my DVD drive is right here, it's just right above the generic flash sticks. It's right there, see how it says DVD RAM? That's going to give you a, a little hint on which one's the DVD drive. WD, that's Western Digital, that's my hard drive that I have right here. And then network boot. But since we were uh, installing from a USB, I'm just going to select my USB HDD generic flash disk. I'm going to press enter. So now it's going to be starting booting up from the USB. And again, guys, if you're going to be booting up from the USB, make sure you have your USB plugged in before you turn on your computer and before you press boot menu. So I'm going to let the computer do its own thing and I'll be back. Oh, one more thing guys, if you guys uh, want to install Windows 10, get it for free, get your hands on the operating system for free, whether it's on CD or USB, and have the product key, I have a separate link 
on the description below or it's going to be somewhere around an annotation somewhere around this video which is going to allow you to um, to help you download the Windows 10 operating system to USB or CD from the Microsoft official website. I have a tutorial on that. Uh, don't worry, it's free. There's no ads, no nothing. It's directly from the Microsoft website. So please make sure to check that out. And yeah, all right, guys. So we're right here in the in the Windows setup screen. You just want to select your language, your time, and uh, your keyboard input, like what region you have. Uh, you just want to click install now. Alright guys, then it's going to ask you for to enter a product key to activate my Windows. Since I downloaded Windows 10 from Microsoft website, I received the key but I currently forgot. So yeah, that's going to be a little bit problem for me like in 30 days. But it's not really that important. You can still use the operating system. For you, you're probably going to have the key already. If, if you look at my uh, on the video that I showed you in the annotation on how you could get it for free from the Microsoft website, it's going to give you the key so you could just go ahead and enter your key. Currently, I don't have the key so I'm just going to skip the step. I'm gonna accept the license and terms. Click next. And right here, this is where the clean install matters. If you're gonna upgrade to a uh, Windows 10, it's just gonna replace the operating system with your files and all that. But the point of a clean install is to wipe the entire hard drive. Get rid of the old operating system, get rid of all the old files and start brand new fresh with a new hard drive or, or uh, whatever. That way it will run smoothly uh, once you finish installing Windows 10, like if it's a brand new laptop, like I said before. So we're going to go to custom. And right here, this is where you're going to choose uh, where you're going to install the operating system. Right now I have two partitions because this is my test hard drive, so I'm just going to format both of them. For you, you're probably just going to format one. Me, I have to do uh, I have to do both because I, I have two operating systems in this hard drive. So I'm just formatting all this just for you guys. It has two partitions, mine, so don't worry anything about that. Just imagine yours is one hard drive. So I'm just going to select uh, my, where I'm going to be installing my operating system, and I'm going to click Next. And now it's going to go through the installation. So I'll fast forward this video, and, um, and yeah. Uh, at this point, the computer is gonna is gonna restart, so you don't want to do anything. The operating system will keep booting up. So this is your this is the first time the Windows 10 operating system kind of boots up. It's just finishing the installation, so just let it do its own thing, and I'll be right back.
So again, it's gonna ask you to to enter the product key. I don't have one, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you are are going to have one if you watch my uh, video on how to download Windows 10 for free from the official Microsoft website. So you should be good on that. You could just enter your product key if you didn't before. Since I don't have it, I'm just gonna click do this later all the way at the bottom. And then it's gonna ask me to uh, enter my Wi-Fi, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't feel like doing it right now. I'm just gonna skip this step as well. Uh, I'm just gonna go in fast, change any time user. Uh, right here, this is where you want to enter the username and your password and all that. So I'm just going to enter it really fast. I'm just going to type whatever. Oops. You know what? I'm not even going to type a password. I don't really care about that. So I'm just going to click next. If it All right, guys, congratulations. You already did a clean install on your brand new Windows 10 laptop or desktop. Now, you're probably going to notice some some little defects or not defects, but like a little bit of trouble, which is the resolution of the screen. So right now, my resolution can, is weird after the installation. So I'm just going to open up a window, see how everything looks like it's all like stretched out. So I'm going to change the resolution and you change the resolution by right clicking the desktop going to display settings. And right here you just want to go to um you just want to scroll down right here if I'm not mistaken and click advanced place display settings. And right here this is where you're going to change it. Oh, well, this is a little bit weird. Uh, usually my resolution is 1366 times 768 which I currently don't have but that's no problem guys uh, the reason why I don't have it is because I need to uh, do an update on this computer so you do the update by going into uh... you wanna go to start and then you wanna go to um, all apps and from there you wanna go down until you get into settings so goes over here and then from there this is where you're gonna go into um, update and security now in order for you to update you need to have uh, your Wi-Fi enabled me I don't have my Wi-Fi uh, I don't need I didn't even enter my Wi-Fi uh, password so I don't really bother about that because I'm gonna delete the operating system because I don't like Windows 10 I'm just showing you I'm just making a video for you guys so um once uh if you have your Wi-Fi running and everything you could just click check for updates <coughs> and from there it's gonna check for all updates you could just go ahead download them and install them it'll automatically install them for you automatically the computer is gonna restart and from there your resolution should be fine and your computer should be set to go so you could just take whatever if you actually backed up your your old operating system like just the files you could just connect it right back through the USB or whatever type of backup you have like me, I like to back up stuff manually, so I just connect a hard drive, 
and uh and I just drag the stuff back where it belongs. So I just go to uh well I go to the libraries and I start dragging the pictures where they belong. So I drag my pictures from the hard drive, drag them right here into this bad boy, and then same with the pictures, documents, and all other stuff. So yeah, guys, uh, this is PSP Slim Hacks. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Please give it a like if this help you. If this help you guys, please share it to your friends for all uh, they could know how to do a clean install. Um, please uh, comment on it and tell me what you think, what I should do better for my next tutorial. And please subscribe, guys. It will help me a lot more than it will help you. Well, again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, peace out.